there you teens welcome back to my channel for all of you that do not know I am love of fragrance and I am a perfume recommender I recommend fr fragrances to you possibly that you may have knowledge of or does not have any knowledge of and <clears throat> maybe you find them interesting after I explain to you the details the more prevalent details revolving around the fragrances or I'll just bring them to your attention and highly recommend them to you and you will make the final determination as to whether or not they're going to be beneficial to you or whether or not you find those fragrances interesting enough to attain them, purchase them, and possibly apply them to your fragrance collection or maybe just would love to enjoy just having them accessible to you or giving them as a gift to another person that you feel that may possibly love fragrances or give them as a gift or whatever. But I'm coming to you today with this particular video in reference to an individual that's an icon in the fragrance community, in the fashion community, and also um, in the purse community. I mean, he happens to be a fashion icon and he's involved in everything fashionable. But before I get into that, I want to explain to you that there are many individuals <clears throat> excuse me, that has made inquiries of exactly what type of uh, lip color I'll be wearing in accordance with my nail color because they are always seem, they always seem to be in accordance with one another. And I want to explain to you that it um, isn't intentional or anything, but I just happen to have also a very decent collection of uh, lip colors and nail colors because I've been a nail person all my life as a matter of fact, I used to be heavily involved in nails. I would manicure my own nails. I mean, the full package with the acrylic and everything, but I don't do that anymore. These are my natural nails, and I just happen to love to wear things in accordance with one another. And for some reason, I discovered that on camera, red nail polish looks better on camera than my standard colored, which happens to be like a marv or some type of... Uh, uh, deep pink color in the past I've always worn something deep pink that was my staple color but however I kind of outgrew it for some reason prior to recording my videos and I found that the videos when I establish a video or conduct a video shoot my red nail color happens to coordinate with everything that's one reason why I stick with the red nail color and to answer your question, the nail color that I'm wearing today happens to be P2. I picked this up at a salon boutique somewhere, and it happened to be two P2, and it's mini, and it's supposed to be like a, a five-second nail dryer polish, and that's why I wear it so much, because so, it's so expedient, and it works for me, and it's less time-consuming, and I love the fact that it's like a mini uh, quick-dry polish, and I love that. I don't have time to sit around all day blowing my nails anymore, but I used to. <laughs> and for as my lip color is concerned, I am wearing a, it's called Striking. The color is called Striking, and it's a matted lip color, matte. It's um, Amari matted lip color, and the name of it happens to be Striking. And majority of my lip colors are from this particular brand, and it happens to be Milani. And you can pick these up almost in any retail store everywhere. Um, I've seen them at Walgreens, but I've never purchased one there. I know I purchased them from Rite Aid. Um, they are definitely at Euphora. They are definitely at Sephora. They are at Ulta. And they are in majority of the cosmetic retail store so it's very easy to locate but I love this particular color and I made red my staple color only for one reason because of the fact you'll find me only wearing this on a date night sometimes or possibly when I'm recording these videos because like again it coordinates with my nail color and it's more visible on camera but anyway to get back to my video I am introducing you to you today and making a high recommendation for none other than Mr. Kevin Klein himself. <laughs> I happen to 
have these two fragrances in my collection. As you can see, they're still in the box. I have never really, I've never worn them. I've never utilized these fragrances, so I hate to tell you this, but I may have tested them. I may have samples of them, which I would like to give you an a introduction to my sample collection one day. It isn't very extensive. It isn't very large, but I have a few that I would like to introduce to you that I do not have regular fragrance is for and I found I think it'll be pretty interesting uh, but back to these two particular fragrances by Calvin Klein uh, this one right here happens to be secret obsession and I don't even know how I attain these fragrances I really don't I know I think this one was gifted to me but I'm not sure how I attained this one but they were in my collection and I would like to explain to you today that Mr. Calvin Klein himself happens to be an icon in all everything <laughs> everything but not only women but he has men fashions he's a fashion icon he has men fashions and he introduced the his first fragrance in the 2001 i don't know exactly what was the name of it but i know that's when he began to um i uh, introduce himself into the fragrance industry even though he was already in everything fashionable so therefore and this one right here Kevin Klein obsession happened to be uh, an extension to his already existing Kevin Klein obsession but this one has to be classified as secret obsession and it's an oriental floral fragrance and what really made drew me to this particular fragrance was the fact that it happens to be so darn darn dang gone dang gone darn cute Yes, <laughs> it's so lovely. Ah, oh, man, this is my baby brown, baby, my baby brown right here. I call him baby brown. This is the, I think, the only brown container I have in my entire collection. And it's so dang gone cute. The container is so gorgeous. Mm, and with this particular secret <clears throat> obsession Kevin Klein has here, he launched this particular fragrance in the year of two. 2008 and it happens to be mm, a signature scent but it's nothing in relation to the original Kevin Klein obsession which I do not have in my possession but I had it previously I do remember the fragrance I do remember I have an obs uh, it in my possession or I'm having ownership of it and I do remember utilizing it and I remember loving it I really do I've seen it in the stores but I don't know why I never purchased it again because I'm out. Look, Kevin Klein has a beautiful fragrance here with this year's Secret Obsession. This year happens to be a signature scent and is highly recommended for daily wear or possibly a date night. So I guess it's very flexible. I guess you can wear it anytime you want, but it's very, very intriguing. And it smells so sophisticated and so original. It's original. It's so original. Even though he has, to, this would make two obsessions. But this one class, what I said before, secret session, secret obsession. And the distinction with this particular one that it happens to be a signature scent. It, he established this as a signature scent in total obsolete of the other one because of the uniqueness and the originality of the scent itself it happened to be uh, the top notes are floor blended plum rose and roses and it's a very very rare scents instilled within this particular fragrance they are so rare to the point where I literally have never read a description of notes that included I know they utilize them they even list a spice but something to be classified as nutmeg honey I put nutmeg in all my pies <laughs> in my foods but he blended this so um lovely to the point where it's undeniably elegant yes definitely and the nutmeg and he also put a fragrance called maize i've never heard of maize and he also has some jasmine in here which is very detectable and tuberose which is also very distinguishing those were the top notes and his no notes consist of orange blossom cashmere uh, wood, some type of wood fragrance, and a, definitely a sandalwood. I can definitely smell the 
sandalwood in here and some type of wooded base. He doesn't specify exactly what type of wood, but he also have a burnt amber. And so I guess is this here like an orangey, um, tangerine uh, fragrance because of the burnt and the wood and the amber all consolidated together, which uh, simplifies the overall scents and uh, compact them together and it gives it a very very warm fragrance it establishes some a warm fragrance and I've never sprayed it on myself so I'm gonna have to do this right now but it's warm and it's definitely a signature scent he has the base notes close with that amber burnt amber I guess the burnt amber is what gave him the idea of the entire bottle in the wood it looks almost like a spaceship doesn't it it's gorgeous Mm. Spray it very, very lightly. Mr. Calvin Klein, you have a wonderful fragrance here. I am very impressed with this. It's very impressionable. Let's do a little more. Let's put a little bit here and a little bit there and rub it together. Mm. As it begins to settle onto your skin, it elevates itself into such a lavishing uh, fragrance to the point where it's undeniably lovely. It's undeniably lovely. It reminds me of, mm, my God, this is sweet. It reminds me of a sweet, gentle, mm, oh, warm, atmospheric type aroma that would be very pleasing and very, very elo eloquent for a woman to wear, but, mm, it's definitely appropriate for a date, honey, because somebody's going to be sniffing, sniffing, sniffing. Mm, and you know what? It, 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 it has a, a rating for longevity that's very excessive. So I really do believe that you're going to find this very admirable and very uh, appropriate for um, the occasions that it's um, established for, which would be a Approximately, I guess almost any time of wear, but it's highly recommended for daily wear, maybe for uh, an engagement that's uh, maybe an intimate engagement in the daytime and a date night. Highly recommended for that because Mr. Klein, Kevin Klein has a very distinguishing, a very lavishing, a very elegant, and very mm, mm, appropriate scent here for a woman because I'm telling you, this is so unique and so indifferent out of all the fragrances that I smell on a regular basis so that I can get established recommendations to you, I must give admit to you right now, Mr. Kevin Klein, I don't think I've ever smelled anything like this. And I don't have any complaints. I'm very impressed. It's very impressionable. It's very appropriate for a woman. It's very appropriate for the occasion it was designed for. And it's very, very appealing and interesting to wear. Trust me, you will love this here, Mr. Kevin Klein, um, signature scent, his exotic Indu perfume spray, Secret Obsession. You will love it, so I highly recommend it. So please do yourself a favor, invest in this one. And now on to Mr. Kevin Klein Euphora again. It's still in the container. I think this one was gifted to me, but I have to think pretty hard regarding it. If you look like over videos, you probably see that I had classified this one as a gift. Okay, 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 okay. I remember now, but you know what? One thing I do remember about this one also, this one has some plums in it also, which constituted the color. It has a plum scent. But when I read the red, when I investigate it, this particular fragrance, you know what? There are no similarities. The both are so distinguishing, so unique, and so different from the both be by designed by Mr. Calvin Klein himself. Yes, I remember presenting this to you as I think it was gifted to me. And I remember that I was also obsessed with the container itself, having this here metal foil over this bottle. This is so lavishingly beautiful. Oh, I am so in love with this right here. But this is also classified as an exotic scent. It's Euphoria. This here, the name of it happens to be Euphoria, Euphoria Perfume. And it's an irresistible, very uncommon scent. And it's one of his uh, new additions as well. Just like the Secret Obsession, he has many, many, many fragrances he has designed throughout 
his tenure as a fashion designer and now fragrance designer. Uh, this hair was originated in the year of 2005, but like I told you before, but he went into the fragrance industry. Uh, he included the fragrance industry into his already fashion uh, industry in the uh, year of 2001. This here gives you a sensibility of sparky, sweet ingredients that are inside of here, which give you some spunk. In other words, it makes you feel so in irresistible, irresistible. You feel spunky, baby, spunky, 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 spunky. You know what spunky means? It means you can't sit still. It means you have to be explorative. Definitely. <laughs> But I just want you to understand, with this particular fragrance right here, honey, I must testify to the fact that um, I might have another Calvin Klein. I'm really not certain. I think I do. But with these two right here, you're going to find there's a very major distinction in them. But with this one, this is considered rich, heavily, and intoxicating. Let me see if you're intoxicating. Mmm. And it grants attention. You guys attain excessive amount of attention with this one because it's so captivating. But the notes in this particular fragrance consist of persimmons, pomegranate, pomegranate, and persimmons. Do you know that persimmon used to be my most favorite fruit? You can't really find them, honey. They used to grow right on the lawn in a tree. And I had persimmons all day long. It used to be my favorite. And I also love pomegranate. Oh my God, he's putting, he is instilling fruits, flavors, and uh, seasonings into his fragrance, which gives it so an identification of exquisiteness and uniqueness and so indifferent from. No wonder the, the scents are so unique. Okay, well, the notes consist of persimmons and pomegranate, and extremely, they're extremely musky and they're sweet. And I have a, 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 a twist of sweet wine accords. And also included in this particular fragrance are black partridge, orchid, and a floral, watery florals, definitely. And he also have in here some violet cream, and again, again, um, Amber Woods, but not only that, he also have uh, something he classifies as milky. I have never known why to put milk in their fragrances, but this has milk in it that gives it the soft aroma that you may in acquire from utilizing this particular fragrance. It's not very strong. It's, it's, it's very distinguishing and it's very detectable and it's very elevated. But however, it's still very, very subdued, very light, and very uh, irresistible as a fragrance. And it's definitely, uh, definitely, it isn't common. It's very uncommon. It's very distinctive, like I said. So therefore, you aren't going to find this. You aren't going to be able to classify this as being any common fragrance. And neither are you going to classify this one as common. But this particular fragrance right here, let's try it. I have to... Try this because, like I said, I can sniff it all day. Uh, here's a spot right here. Let's see. Mm. You know what's most distinguishing about this one is the musk in it. The musky smell in here brings the attention to you. Oh, my God. And when it begins to dry on your skin, I'm not sure about everyone's body chemistry, whether or not they'll be able to find it's tolerable, but the musk elevates itself, and then it's because you can smell all the notes um, originating or combining themselves together and then elevating themselves to make it distinguishing and elaborate the scent overall. But anyways, I have introduced you today to Mr. Calvin Klein Euphora. Look at the bottle so you can remember the name just by the way it's designed. And I've introduced you to Mr. Calvin Klein Secret Obsession. And I hope you found this video interesting. And I hope you um, investigate these particular fragrances and attain them for your own individual fragrance collection or purchase them for someone that's dear in your life and find love for them, you them as I have in your possession. And I thank you so much for 
um, tuning into my video. And please remember to shoot me some comments and continue to subscribe. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful evening.